Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Marley, and I have two rats named Dixie and Daisy. And today I would like to talk about rat tails. Why they so, why they are so important, some medical problems that they can have, and uh, just some other stuff about them. So, first off, I'd like to talk about how rats balance with their tails. Um, for example, when you hold your rat, um, they might start moving their tail like so, um, kind of whipping around, because they're trying to find their balance, and in order for them to find their balance, they use their tails. So, such as if they're climbing on, like, a skinny area, they will use their tails as balance, or when they fall from their cage, they will whip their tails to try to, like, stabilize themselves when they, uh, hit the ground. Um, some medical things I'd like to talk about is degloving and uh, ringtail. So first off, ringtail is caused by lack of humidity in their environment. This can't really cause anything bad with your rats. It just means they need more humidity. So such as if you have them in a really dry environment, say you never like you always have a humidifier in that area take it out every once in a while so they don't get a uh, ring tail uh, another thing another medical thing i'd like to talk about is degloving degloving is where the tip of the tail comes off the bone so basically where the skin comes off the bone um so what happens when degloving happens is you need to go see your vet and ask what you can do about it now if they say they can't really treat it with anything or if they do treat it with something and the treatment isn't working, um, I guess you just kind of wait for the bone to fall off, and the tail will not, uh, the tail will not regrow because they're not reptiles, such as like lizards and other reptiles can grow their tails back. Um, their tails will will permanently be gone. Not all their tail, just where it degloved. Um, and another really serious problem with degloving is it can get infected if you don't treat it right, and that can cause serious pain with your rats. So if that does happen, make sure to see your vet about it. Um, that's about it for medical things. Um, some things about rat tails is, um, I kind of freaked out when I first saw this, is nail tail. And nail tail is just a built... This is built up of dry skin on the tip of their tail. And it looks kind of like a nail. It's nothing to worry about. It'll eventually fall off. Um, none of my girls currently have nail tail. Um, it fell off. But naturally, the nail tail will fall off. And uh, it's nothing to worry about. And everything will be okay if you see it for the first time. Because believe me, it freaked me out for the first time too. Um, that's about it about rat tails, uh, just, if you do have to pick them up, um, grab them by the base of the tail, right here, by their butt and urethra, instead of right here. And when you do grab them, um, support their front paws too, so, like, they can't go anywhere, um, and... Yeah, so unless you absolutely need to hold your rats by the tail, do not do it, um, because it can cause medical problems such as degloving. Um, that's about it for this video. Um, thank you for watching, and um, make sure to click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so every time I post a new video, you get a notification. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.